Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hood, I am Penge, welcome back to Production Line where we are attempting to complete the scenario objectives for the first sort of factory slash map that you can do in the game. I think it's the smallest one you can do I believe. And right now these objectives seem very very far away indeed. <laughs> oh dearie me. Our target within 15 days is to sell 3,000 cars and we've only sold 37 cars <laughs> which is a somewhat pitiful 1% progress toward that particular goal. So I mean that that's not great is it? And we've had one full day. Now this is one of these weird confusing games where it starts on day zero which just confuses me. So day zero is you've not had a day yet. So now day one means you've had one full day. So it's currently 1.27 in the morning of the second day of operations in our factory. Now, of course, that's not great. We've not sold any expensive cars. The only sort of other tiny sort of smidgen of good news is that down here, our target to sell 750 mid-range cars, we've sold one. <laughs> Go us. And that must have been when I bumped the price up on the current things that we're making just to see if we get any money out of it. And it must have elevated up to the uh, sort of uh, mid-range car band and then some poor fool bought it. <laughs> because then I bought the prices back down again. So there we go. We've sold one of those. Right. Come out of that. The good thing about this is though, yes, we've had one day and we've only sold 37 cars, but that was our day of setting up. You know, we, we've got no research done. I imagine that as soon as we start getting more research done, stuff will accelerate very, very quickly indeed. Now let's just have a quick refresher of what we are actually doing. So we are researching, I believe, we're going to hear car alarms. So we're researching a car alarm right now. I don't think we're researching anything else, are we? No, nothing else particularly, just car alarms. So we've got five research labs. What I might do is, what I might do is I might invest in another research lab. We need more people in white coats <laughs> and, and, I don't know, racks of computer servers. And we would have people swishing bottles of stuff around. I don't quite know what that is. And, of course, all important flip charts with, with pie charts on them, obviously. I think let's get at least, at least another one of those to just give us another 0.83 research points per minute. Because the research is key. That is absolutely key. We need lots and lots of research. So I think, do you know what? We've got 449 grand. We've actually got quite a bit of money. Let's have two. Let's have two extra research labs. Yes. So what? what's that? Point, so 1.66 is that? Points per minute extra. So every minute we'll be gaining an extra sort of one and a half research points, which has got to be a good thing. And then we can come out here. So if we just rush time on, because we can't really do much right now, we can just sort of watch as what's going on. Um, we can have a look at where the bottlenecks are. This is certainly the problem. Paint. Paint is causing a big, big problem because like, everything else is sort of going quite swimmingly. It gets to, it sort of stacks up at paint. Everything is waiting. So how many things have they got waiting? There's one in the um, sort of uh, thing now. Then we've got one, two three cars just sat there waiting not doing anything and then paint is just sat there going hey <laughs> hey i'm taking forever doing this so look they're all ready it's all this is that's not good so paint is the problem so we might want to at some point when our research is done have a look to see if we can do anything to do with the painting like can we speed that up can we add more robots is they don't have robots do they oh oh crikey that was quicker than i was expecting it to be okay we've got car alarms which is a big red light and a and a, a huge big loudspeaker type thing. Okay, so let's just put that on all of them. Yes, apply it onto those, please. Yeah, apply those options. Lovely. Right, pause time a second because now we're not researching anything. I don't want to waste research points. So, next research project. We've got car alarm. That is lovely. How about... Now, electric windows does sound good, doesn't it? Electric windows does sound rather good. Yeah, I th do we go for that? It's 750 points. And we'll get that relatively quickly. Yeah, go on. Let's have electric windows. Yeah, go on. Do it. Absolutely. Let's go for the futuristic madness of electric windows. So, yeah, we can't upgrade the paint thing, I don't believe. Predictive stock control. That sounds interesting. I don't know what that does, but I guess we order the right amount of stock so it doesn't go to waste, so we save money. However, we need to take a look at this thing here. So, currently... It starts off here. This is the chassis assembling bit where they make the kind of the, 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 the frame of the car, is it? The sort of the under tray, I suppose. And then it comes to here where they fit the body. And currently this is in many, many steps. So if you look there, it says they fit the body shell and the hood and the trunk and the bumpers and the trims and all that kind of car hibbity jibbity. But if you break this down, because we unlocked another thing somewhere in there, it's now broken this down into extra bits. So we've got fit body frame, fit roof, 
and fit doors. Oh, oh, and doors are split into into sub parts. Oh my goodness me. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't notice that. Um, okay. So these things now do the individual bits that, you know, make up fit body. So fit body frame does some of them. Fit roof obviously pops the roof on. Fit doors does doors and wind mirrors and all that kind of stuff. So I was sort of musing about this as to what to do with these. I was like, well, what, what do we do? Do we need these? And people in the comments have said, ah, well, it might help reduce backlogs and things because you know, each little bit is is you know able to sort of do its own thing and work independently rather than just having a great big queue here behind this one bit of the paint is our current problem but um so i might let's just put these in let's put them in that needs 105 grand for the body frame we can do that that's 16 and that's 35 so yeah we should be able to afford that and then i think we'll sell this i think we can sell this bit and it will change how it works so yeah so if we wait for them to finish working on that thing come on speed up speed time up there we go finish yes right they finished working on this now what we want to do is we want the paint thing to finish so move the car along that's in the paint mechanism thingamajigger there we go right okay so now it doesn't matter if we destroy this if we sell this off then uh it doesn't matter that there's one sort of already in there and then we'll have to kind of rejig the paths and stuff and then put these in. The only thing is this is going to look slightly ugly, isn't it? It's not going to be a pretty arrangement of things. So, fit body frame. Uh, the thing is going to have to come through here. So the conveyor is going to come through here. Uh, right. Let, let's do it. I'm a bit... I'm a bit scared doing this. I think if we right click, we sell the thing. I think that's what happens. Hold shift to delete or use right mouse button. Yeah, now I think I did this uh, in when I had a little sort of uh, a little mini play test of this. So I think we just do that. So three, four, eight. Yes, we got some money back on that, but that's gone. We now no longer have this bit here. We don't have any <laughs> capability to fit the bodies to the cars. So now let's get fit body frame. So we can rotate it round. So it's going to go like this. So that could go there. Do we want to put that there? Let's put that there, like so. So that fits the body frame. And then we can fit the roof. So we want to bring that maybe round, <laughs> round here possibly. Is is this going to work? Fit the roof there, and then fit the. Oh no! Ah, right now, do we want to have these individual bits for fitting doors? It it probably is a good idea to do so, isn't it? So we'll have a bit there. Right now, let's start connecting these up because I'm going to get terribly confused. <laughs> so right, bring that round, bring that round up to there. Okay, lovely. That's connected into there, then into there, then up. Then through there. Okay, right. So we've got it connected up there. I don't know what that bit's... What's that bit doing? Away with you. There we go. I don't know what that bit was doing. But there we go. It was in and now it's not. Okay. So now we've got fit door panels. Now we need to fit some windows. And then we need to fit some wing mirrors. And then they need to go back to the painting bit. So can we pop that there for wing mirrors? And then scroll up, grab a conveyor to connect that up splendid and then we need <laughs> fit windows into say there maybe and then get the conveyor and then bring that like that and bring it down like that and then across and then down so it's all linked back up but now it goes around this circuitous route here where we've split this thing up into into individual bits i mean look it does it all individually there as well which is just crazy and then down to here and then back into the painting bit where it's still going to get held up i believe but we might be able to sort of maximize the efficiency of these things which could be useful okay now they're all going to need the um conveyor things aren't they because they're not going to have any of those so um yeah so connect that up yeah like that that'll do bring that across to there um yeah then we'll bring this around the top like so and then we want to make sure that these have got another sort of uh, another method of connection as well because i don't like that being on its own so can we just connect that to there yes okay right that looks sort of plausible now i don't have very much money left <laughs> okay now when we look at these can we like do something extra with these now so that there upgrades ah now we can buy some extra robots that might be a good thing. So we'll buy some extra robots for that. And you. <laughs> yeah, okay. We need like proper efficiency stuff, don't we? And I wonder if the painting can have that. I wonder if that... Um, I've just purchased an upgrade at one of my... So oh! Oh, I didn't even notice that. 
Oh, we have to apply. Ah. Oh, oh, right. Hang on. Yes. Well, let's buy that then. Hang on. You just purchased an upgrade at one of your slots. This means the slot has the capability to install that upgrade on a car, but does not mean it will do so. Oh, so just by... Ha ah, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just by researching it doesn't mean that they're going to fit it. But now, now I've got that in, that means they will actually start putting car alarms into the cars. We've probably promised people. Uh, okay. Maybe we should put... Uh, Yep. Okay, good. Thanks. Maybe we should put... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, pause, pause. Hold thy horses. Uh, maybe we should put central locking in as well. And we'll buy some extra robots. That is why you do that. Okay, 3,000 for keyless entry as well. Okay, fit shiny things to cars, please. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't realise you had to do that. Um, Electric windows is... Oh, we're searching, aren't we? Ah, right. Okay, yeah, we'll have robots just there, please. Lovely. And that comes back down to here. Right. So now there's going to be a bit of a lull as the car parts go along the sort of the magic, <laughs> the magic sort of uh, sky framework. So they're going to stock all that up. So now our cars can fit things like, you know, heater, uh, not heaters, that's what's in the corner. You know, the keyless entry and all that kind of stuff. So we should see these going in. Uninstalled features car alarm. Okay, so now are they installing these things? Right, yeah, put those things in, please. And then we'll up the price to 26 26,500 because it's going to have in it a car alarm, central locking and keyless entry. And you know you want this. Come on, get resources in, please. Chop, chop. Um, oh, that's struggling for resources a little bit, is it? Is that becoming a bit of an issue for them? Do they keep running out of resources? Um, it's not so bad, actually. That doesn't look so bad because... It's slow coming to them at the minute. It's slow coming to them. Right. We have electric windows. Now we can fit that as well. We can do that. Right. Next research project. Can we do something with painting? Can we have a special painting thing? Oh, sat nav though. 2,400 research points. That's quite a lot. No. Let's go and see if we can go down to uh, processes. Uh, is there a paint specialiser? Yes. Paint specialization. Unlock slots. Paint undercoat. Dry undercoat. Paint finish dry. Oh my goodness me. Unlock so many things. Right. Um, yeah. Go for that, please. Research that right now. High pressure paint nozzles. 2,700 research points. We could be there forever. Um, okay, right. Include those in. Apply. And now we can go to... Is it here? Uh, no, hang on. There. Upgrade. Uh, yeah, buy that. Please. Thank you. Right. Lovely. There we go. So I can ship those things in and they can fit the electric windows. Okay. Right. This is all looking fine. It's all fine. Uh, money is, isn't looking great, is it? Can we sell some cars, please? We've got two cars that are waiting to be sold. Come on, sales guys. Buck your ideas up, please. <laughs> chop, chop. Uh, do we need to bring the price down a tiny bit? 24500 Someone please buy the cars. We're running out of money at a rapid rate. Someone, oh good, right. We sold a car. We sold another car. And can we sell this car as well, please? Oh, it's got none of the features installed on it. That is, that's not good. Uh, crikey. That was quick. Uh, rival companies are research central locking. <laughs> we had that ages ago. Come on, guys. Catch up. Um, okay. We've got many, many of these things. Uh, okay. Right. Choose project. I want to pause. I think the time runs on. So let's pause that. Why has that got no features installed? Is that just because it went through just before we started doing all the stuff? And they should be fitting these things now, shouldn't they? Features. Basic wheels, basic lights. Why are they not putting these things in the cars? Oh, is it still here? The paint thing is still causing us some problems. Yeah, look, these here have got all the sort of, uh, the yeah, the central locking, keyless entry, and electric windows, and all that kind of jazz. But it's because they're being held up in the paint bit for so long that it's stuck. Yeah, that's not good. Solid roof. <laughs> is is that is that a, a special thing? Yes, we've got a solid roof. It's not made of paper or <laughs> balsa wood. Okay, right. Research-wise, we've got that in. I'm very tempted to get something of one of these. But no, not now. Let's get some more technologies in. Let's get some more things in. We've got all the security features in, which is a nice... That's a nice thing. Driver assistance. Uh, is there anything we can? Anything else we can do? I'm very tempted with sat nav. Just put sat nav in or folding wing mirrors. Um, up blocks upgrade at slot. Make wing mirrors. Ah. Oh no. Do I need a special thing for that? That's the next tier down. Is it? Um, okay. Scroll back up. Got all security features. 
safety features. These are all a lot of things, aren't they? Driver assistance and power steering might be a nice thing. Is it where, where does, oh, right, hang on a minute. Hang on, can we click into here? Uh, no, that's a car. Click into this bit, come out of that. Upgrades, predictive stock control is the only thing we can have for the paint right now, is it? Does that take us to it? Yeah, okay. So what's this? This is an improved efficiency thing. Faster drying. Ah, right. Here we go. That's to do with painting. I would quite like that because that is our big problem. That is where it's stopping. So let's get improved efficiency. Yes, please. And then let's get faster drying. It might take us a long time to get faster drying, but at least we're going to get that out there. And it can, you know, slowly churn away. Now, I did notice in here there is a design studio. It costs 205 grand. But it generates four design points rather than this, which generates 0.83. I don't know what the research guys are doing. Come on, chop, chop. Pull your fingers out. So, yeah, it requires... It's got another employee and it requires a lot more to invest in, a tiny bit more power. But it generates a lot more design points. So, I, I mean, how do we get them? It's not been researched. Where's that? Uh, body design under administration. Oh, okay, that's 2,400 and 2,900 research points. That is quite a big thing for us to do. Okay, let's just see if we can get some more cars sold because our money is a little bit low right now. We need to get these cars in with the fancy new features and then people will buy them. Right, what's that car got? Right, that might be the first car that's got all of the lovely features in it. Yeah, I think it is. I think this car here, this red one, has got all the uh, you know, the alarms and the central locking. It's got basic wheels. Hooray! <laughs> okay, so that is good. So we should hopefully see some money coming through when this is done. Yep, so the fitting accessories. Yep, come on, come on. Oh, the painting thing takes so long. Improved efficiency is done already. Excellent. Right, now improve the painting. <laughs> Make it quicker, please. Yeah, that's going to take a little while, isn't it? Yeah, it's only on 3%, 4%. That's going to take a little while to do. Okay, so our car's gone in. Our car has gone in. The red car, it's not got electric windows. Why does it not have electric windows? Why has it not got that? Is there a reason for that? Well, let's buy some robots for that, actually. Why has it not got electric windows? We've, we've bought that, haven't we? Extra robots. We'll buy extra robots there as well. Where do the windows go in? The engines? Accessories, electronics. Um, it's not electronics. Okay, must be an accessories then. No. Where do electric windows go? Or is it the door? Hang on, fit door panels. Is it in here somewhere? Um, keyless entry, no. Okay, right, hang on, hang on, right. Slow time down, slow time down. I'm terribly confused. Fit windows, right. It's in the fit windows bit, everybody. <laughs> it's probably in here. Um, electric windows. We've got that with electric windows. Why are you not fitting them? Or is that just another exception that we didn't have? Message from the chief exec. It seems that we need to produce a lot more cars in the budget sedan market segment. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm not good. Show advice of this type. No, don't show advice of that type. Shoo, chief operating officer. You're patronizing me. Okay. So yeah, we are selling them because we've now got back over 100 grand. Let's take a look at what the painting thing has got for us. Um... Paint undercoat, dry undercoat, paint finish, dry finish, polish paint work. The slot has not yet been researched. Do I need that? Is that what this does now? Does it polish paint work? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what that does. Uh, right, paint finish, dry finish. No, it doesn't. It just does four things. It does paint undercoat, dry undercoat, paint finish, dry finish. Yeah, and that's what's taking a little while. So, yeah, hopefully this thing will speed things up then. But it's not under the upgrades bit. So I wonder if we have to build these, these bits here, to then apply the speeding up sort of, uh, whatever it is, upgrade to one of those bits. Oh, my goodness. How expensive are these? 14, 16, 14, 16. Oh, the expense. Um, okay, oh, people have got cruise control. Oh, and look at the... Look at the queues. Look at the big queues of cars. This, this You're all too efficient until it comes to the painting bit. Right, we need to sort this out. So let's wait for faster drying to be done. I want that done, and then we can apply that as soon as we can to whatever that kind of applies to, whichever bit of that it is. I guess it's dry finish. Now, after that, 
let's have a look at technologies very quickly on its processes, isn't it? Where are we? So we're on faster drying. That's sort of churning away quite nicely. Turbo drying. <laughs> I mean, is that worth getting? And then maximum power drying. Is there anything else that could help with painting? Let's just have a quick look. It doesn't look like it, does it? I think that is it. Oh, pol was it polished paintwork? That was a thing, wasn't it? And high pressure paint nozzles. Yeah, that might speed things up as well. That's a lot of research points. Let's add that to the queue as well. Absolutely. If we could just churn more cars out, I'd be happier. And then we can start, you know, tarting them up with exciting things. But this is just this is just too much of a backlog. It's just too slow. Painting, you're just too slow. So uh, yeah, let's get the two research. Well, let's get this done actually. Let's get faster drying done. So we'll uh, just sort of wait until that's finished, and then we'll come back and we'll hopefully we will have sold a few more cars, and then we can start sort of fitting these things in, <laughs> seeing where the heck they can go <laughs> within this factory, because I don't know where they're going to fit. Hurrah! Faster drying is now available. So yeah, we can't upgrade any slots because we've not got these bits, but we can certainly now pause time and build them. Now there is a car in there right now. Oh, it's nearly finished. Right. What we'll do is we'll get that car out. So that car will go, bing, and finished. Right. Do I need to let it drive off of the thing first? Right, okay, it's off the uh, off of the uh, sort of uh, thing there, whatever that is, the uh, unit that does the painting. So now, I think we can destroy this. It will give us some money back, so that's quite nice. 23 grand we got back from that, or 21 and a bit. So that's not too bad. Right, so paint undercoat. Okay, <laughs> where is all this going to fit? I really don't know. <laughs> we'll make it work, it's fine. Right, paint Undercoat. The only thing is it's got to come back down here to reconnect down there, hasn't it? This is this is the problem. I've not really mapped this out very well, have I? <laughs> okay, fine. Paint undercoat can go in. Yay, excellent. Dry undercoat. Um, that can probably go just there. Um, paint finish can probably go... There's not a lot of gaps between these, is there? Pa that can go there. And then dry finish maybe... Can that come back, say, here? <laughs> this is just awful oh it's a terrible layout right hang on i'll make it work it's fine don't worry everybody um so that can then go through to there like so and then that can go up like that um one thing we do need we need that car to move kind of over there into that thing as well right bring that to there put that across and down to no that's a terrible layout put that to there <laughs> and then this down here and then to there and then into there okay that seems to work and then we need the conveyors to actually get them their things although those seem to be are they all connected just by proxy of just being next to things anyway that's quite nice um we'll put that to there and then bring that down like that because why not might as well connect it up um yeah so look they're connected to it anyway by there that one doesn't that was just a fan that doesn't need to be connected that doesn't need to be, be connected. Right, however, so paint undercoat. Have we got any upgrades? No, but we are researching the high pressure paint nozzle things. This thing here, upgrades. <gasps> yes, we can make that a bit quicker. Okay, this thing here, no upgrades. This thing here, I bet we can make a bit quicker as well. Yes. Okay, right. Th this is good. This is all fine. And that bit there can be obliterated. We don't need that anymore. So now they're going to go in here. Yes, there's not enough resources right now. There's no paint, but that's fine. They can get paint. Look at it. It all piles in. Yes, much in the way of paint. Okay, good. Lots of paint coming in. Now they've gone into here. That's now being dried. Then it's going to go on to here. Yeah, this, this looks far more efficient. This looks much better. And yeah, then we want to get that as well. Max power drying. That would also be incredibly useful. So queuing up still at the drying bits. But look, they're down here already. Okay, right, that's better. That's much better. Yeah, this thing keeps running out of resources. It's fine, they'll churn loads of it in. Right. Um, now, the only thing is, we don't have a lot of money anymore. So we need to get more cars through. So if we stay up here from up on high, we can see that the cars are actually coming through quite nicely. Look, they're actually working their way through. See, now, I suppose the thing now that's taking the time is fitting the engine. That bit there is now the time-consuming bit which I guess is kind of how this game is going to go. So you're going to improve one bit and then need to improve another bit. The only thing about this is that I, I haven't got any room to expand this unless I can break it down into 
a little bit down here and have the conveyor going along there. Oh, it's all just, <laughs> it's all just terrible and complicated. And one thing I did do, I did up the price of our, um, of our vehicles. I did up the price a tiny bit. Did it go up to 27 and a half? So now what I might do is, might just not shut up a bit more. Let's make it 30. Let's make it 30 grand because there's none in the showroom. So people are buying them. So it's not like we've got five cars in the showroom waiting. So we do need to get some monies in. But yeah, this thing is going to help as well. The high pressure paint nozzles will help get out some stuff. And then I think we need to go back to upgrading the cars. So we've got all the door stuff, haven't we? Right. Fit door panels. What can we do in door panels? A lane departure warning system. That sounds like a good thing that people might like. Or we've got windows. What can we put into windows? Um, oh, nothing extra we can put into windows. Okay, so what do we want to research next? Let's have a look. Technologies. So uh, we could... Satnav. I'm really tempted by Satnav. But I don't know if we've got the slot for it. Upgrade, uh, locks upgrade at slot. Fit electrical components. Is that one of these? Fit electronics. Where is the electronics bit? Uh, that's accessories. Fit electronics. Upgrades. Bluetooth and car music. Santa. Oh no, it could go into there. It could go into there. So yeah, that seems like a sort of nice, straightforward one just to get our hands on. Just to go, yay, sat nav. We've kind of unlocked the first bit, the convenience features. Let's get that. We'll add that to the queue. And then, oh uh, yeah, accessory specialization we haven't got. Folding wing mirrors. <laughs> it just seems... Just seems a, a, a luxury that people can live without right now. However, we haven't really got... We need all the specialization things, really. We need all these. So why don't we get engine specialization? Let's get all of these in, actually. Add to the queue. Add accessories to the queue. Add... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't know. I thought that was the only thing. A factory expansion we don't need. Advanced production. Oh, that just looks a little bit scary. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not go down there yet. So, yeah, we'll have all these things. And that means that we're not restricted by the bits here that say, uh, yes, you need wheel specialization and you need all those things. At least we'll have some of those things done. So, yeah, they've still got doors, axle specialization. I don't know what an axle is. <laughs> oh, chassis specialization. Add to the queue. Yeah, absolutely. Add that as well. Queue up all these things. Uh, right. Okay. Let's fly through to the uh, to the conclusion of all those research things. I don't think we need to do anything else until all of those things are done. All I'll do is... When we've got sat-nav, which is coming up soon, I'll apply that to the cars and high pressure paint nozzles can be applied to here as well. Although now it does seem very clear that the holdup is fitting the engine. That is now our great big backlog. Uh, oh, hang on. Y yes and yes. Let's buy lots of extra robots to do that. That should help a little bit, shouldn't it? I don't know why I didn't do that before. <laughs> there we go. Well, that might sort that out. Look at all the bits flying into it. Yum, 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 yum. That's brilliant. I like that. There we go. That's going a lot quicker. That is going a lot quicker. Okay, right. It's it's all looking good. It's all looking sort of okay. Right, let's speed time on up. We're not selling any cars. It's it's fine, everybody. It's fine. They'll soon have sat nav and everyone will love them. So um yeah, let's get this research done. Let's get the nozzles done, get the sat nav done. Okay, something a little bit weird is going on. Nobody is buying our cars all of a sudden. I had a little message pop up in the corner that from the chief executive, allegedly, saying, oh, yes, uh, you've got no cars in your showroom. That means you're selling them too cheap. So I upped the price a bit, and then nobody bought them. And now I put the price back down to what they were, but it's not happening. I've got 11 cars in the showroom now, and nobody's buying them. Although there was one with defects which we do sell at a fairly sort of hefty discount. And everybody snapped that up. That went very quickly indeed. Right, let's bring this down then to 26. 26,500. Let's see if we can shift any of these. There's now 12 cars in the showroom. We need to sell something. We're running out of money. We're running out of money drastically. And I don't really know why the old cars that sold for an okay amount of money, um, without all the features on, you know, were able to sell... And these ones are not. Right, good. There we go. Right, so it's back down to 11. If we could sell all of those, if we could sell 12 cars, that would be a massive pile of cash. Right, so we can upgrade the slot. So 3,480 to upgrade the slot that we've got. So, yeah, have that, please. So now we're going to fit Satnav. And, yes, mid-range, mid-range uh, sedans can now have Satnav. Yes, absolutely. But now it'll be really good. Message from Chief Operating Officer. The level of competition in the marketplace has changed recently. 
So just keep an eye on things such as component prices, wage rates for employees, and the prices we are selling at when the level of competition changes. When competition is high, sale prices will be lower. Um, okay. I don't fully understand what I'm doing with this. Uh, are these other people? Are these other companies or something? I'm not really... I, I, I kind of can't remember what this bit said when I looked at the, <laughs> the little notes that popped up. Um, okay. Do I need to drop... Do I need to drop... I need to drop the price of those because I'm going to run out of money. I'm going to run out of money a great deal. But these are now budget cars. 25500 We've got to sell some of those cars. Because otherwise it's back to budget value again. Because at the minute, they've been selling as mid-range. Look, we've sold 36 mid-range cars, apparently, which is nice. We've sold 91 in total out of 3,000. Um, yeah, okay, right. This, I, I, I'm really confused. Unless we just drop them down to budget and just sell them. Just make them go away out of the thing. 23,500 just to make them go away. Someone buy the cars. Someone just buy them. That's a steal. That is an absolute steal. You're getting all sorts of exciting things fitted with these. Better than the other ones were when we started the game, which I don't fully understand. But I, you know, I guess times change and stuff. But okay, fine. So yeah, we are selling a few. Yeah, okay. So that that's the price is coming down. Engine specialization. Oh my goodness me. There's an awful lot of engine specialization. <laughs> okay, right. Next one along is accessory specialization and then chassis specialization and then and then i think we may need to go and rejig things because now the big hold up oh produce 100 cars in a single game yay <laughs> yay we've made some cars okay right good fine uh yeah the definite hold up is here now look at this there's all these things that are sitting there going hello we've been painted can you hurry up please so yeah the problem is fitting the engines so we need to do something with that fairly quick. Also, our money has gone back up quite refreshingly. That is lovely. That's a good thing. Right, so they're now too cheap again. They're budgets. I'm going to bring them back to mid-range. 25,500. That should be okay, he says, not overly confidently. But yeah, it's fine. There you go. One just sold for 25,500. Good. There we go. So good. They're selling. The cars are now selling again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, accessories are done. Yay. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh my goodness me. There's so many things. The engine's got loads of extra bits. And then and then now the accessories has got loads of extra bits as well. Oh my goodness me. Um Joe you know what? Aircon might be a good shout. Another company has already developed Aircon. But if we can get aircon, that would be great. A lot of these require different, like, whatever it was, wheel specialization and stuff. Where's all that stuff? Where was that? Wheel specialization. Can, can anyone see where that might be? There's bumper, bumper, bumper special. Ah, we need these things as well, do we? Unlock slot, body fit, shell fit, hood fit. Oh, this is going to melt my head. I'm not made for this kind of thing. It's also complicated. Um, yeah, steering specialization, wheel specialization. Right, what if we want to get aircon? Does that count as a dashboard thing? Is that electronic specialization? Uh, that's all manufacturing stuff. I'd like aircon. Aircon seems like a good thing. Air conditioning. Unlock. Ah, right, we need environmental features. Okay, add that to the queue, please. Absolutely. And then add air conditioning. Yes. Yeah, go on. Add to the queue. I'm a bit confused as to why <laughs> a heater is the same as air con. But okay, fine. We'll do that. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Run time on. What does the CEO say? That's not one of your cars. It's too cheap. Well, yeah, you say that. You say that it's too cheap. Yet we've got one in here that nobody's buying. Two in here that aren't being bought now. So, you know, oh, actually, no, right, fine. You, you, you've made your point, Chief Executive. I'll put it up to 27,500. It's fine. Away with you. In terms of research, I think we might need to bite the bullet a little bit. We might need to get administration and body design so we can unlock the design studio and get us loads and loads of extra research points because they're just too slow. They're too slow at getting them. So I think let's do this. Let's add that to the queue. We'll add that to the queue. That will help us in the long run. Yes, it's going to be a bit of a burden. 2,400 research points is going to be a long time of nothing happening. You know, other people are going to be developing exciting new things for their cars and we're just not going to be doing anything. We're going to learn <laughs> how to put people in an office and make them sit at desks. And then we're going to do body designs. We're going to have to learn that for 2,920 points, which is an awfully long time. That's a lot of points going into that. But then once that's in... If we can build loads of design studios, replace these things with design studios, then our research will be very, very, very fast indeed. And we can just absolutely just fly through with loads and loads of research stuff. So I think that is what we're going to do. Um, the chassis assembler. 
Oh, it's now got different things and my brain hurts. <laughs> Do you know what? The chassis assembler is not that much of a problem at the moment in terms of sort of efficiency or anything. Yeah, okay, crack on with the next. Which one are we doing? Aircon. Ah, no, that is quite a good thing. So um, that's not so bad. I mean, yeah, I don't think we've got anything to upgrade at the minute. You know, we've not got fancy pants kind of fuel tanks or anything. So at the minute, that's fine. I'm not so bothered about that. I'd love to get some of these things in. Wheel assembly. Oh, there's so many parts. <laughs> How can a car have so many bits? It's so confusing. So yeah, this is going to be a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? This is going to be intriguing because I don't quite know how this is going to work. We need to take this out, really. We need to remove the fit engine bit. But then do we just have that coming up back round here and having all the engine stuff up here and having this just as a bit of a gap? We might have to do that. We may have to do that. We've also got some cars in storage. Come on, get the cars out of the showroom. So yeah, right, we're researching aircon. How much was aircon? How much actual, how many research points was that? 750, and it's going kind of that speed. So 740, 21, 20. Yeah, so it's going to take four times, as three times as long to get administration done and four times as long to get the thing done so we can have better research labs. Yeah, that's that's quite an investment, isn't it? Let's work on this first. Let's get the air conditioning in. Let's see what that actually does. Is it a little individual block? Uh, unlocked fit aircon. The research used to complete uh, completed unlocked a completely new slot that you can place in the slot picker instead of an upgrade. You should be able to find the slot from the new text on the slot picker. Okay, right. Pause time for one second. Where is this? Where is aircon? So is it accessories? Yes, fit aircon is now a thing, but it comes in with all of these. So if we're going to do it, we need to change all of the accessories stuff. But that means we probably, because the accessories are here, we probably then want to change the engine stuff, of which there's one, two, three, four, five bits of that. <laughs> oh, my brain. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cut out to work in a factory like this. Okay, fine. We've got 360 grand. 1960. Oh yeah, we could we could certainly replace these. It's just how we go about doing it without making everything terrible. Right, how far along are they with that car? Okay, right. Here's what we're going to do. Get this done. Get that car done and out. Fit the engine into there and boom, right, pause. Okay. That's going to work its way through, isn't it? Now we can demolish this. We can obliterate this so that car can carry on its merry way. Okay. But that car in there will go. So we're going to lose one vehicle. Now, I don't know if this is the best way to do this or not. I'm not entirely sure. But do you know what? To heck with it. We're doing it anyway. Right. So that's now gone. And then we're going to have to replace some of it. Right, hang on. Let me just move time on a tiny bit. There we go. Right. And then we're going to have to remove that just there. And then bring that up and along round here for now. Okay, right. Fit whatever a powertrain might be. <laughs> A power train is making it up. Right. A fit, a power train. We haven't got any more bits underneath, have we? No. So we'll fit one of those there. And then a radiator. I know what they do, sort of. That's the thing that broke on my car a little while back and poured water all over the road. That was nice. Um, yeah, we'll have a radiator there. And then an exhaust a bit further on. And then a wheel assembly kind of there. Okay, this is fine. This is all good. Right at the edge of the uh, right at the edge of the factory there. Steering assembly can come this way. And then this gives us can I just put it right next to it? Yeah, let's put it there. I don't know why I've left this gap. I don't really know why I've left a gap. I don't it's almost as though I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> good lord. Um and then let's bring that up and then across and then up to say there for now. We can always rejig this. So we'll have that running right through the middle to there. Beautiful. Then to there. And this can come all the way down to here. <laughs> okay. Now, where does it need to go in? It needs to go into the accessories bit, which is now facing the wrong way because they're coming in this end. We can't get them in here. So we might need to also put the accessories bit out. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. Can we refund many things at once? Can I get my money back, please, on all of these? Because we could put the accessory stuff, all these bits up here now in a line and then come down here, do the electronics at the end. We've not got any fancy pants stuff for that just yet. There's not that many actually, which is quite refreshing. And um, and then do it that way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, this this car here might just have to be sacrificed to the... Oh, hang on. Let's, uh, no, not 
that. Hang on. Conveyor. Go that way. There you go. It's all connected. Worry ye not. Um, yeah, so we need to remove the electronics bit, which will cause some problems with this car. Unless we just wait for that car to, to make its way through here. And so it's over here. And then we demolish some of the other stuff. But let's just do that. There we go. So these things are now making their way along. All those other cars are going through and it's all lovely. Right. Oh, no, no, they're not. They're not connected to the resource things, are they? Right. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Please hold the line. Right. A big line along there like that. That connects to there. Uh, that can go up to there like that. And then also we might as well put one of the importer things just there and then connect them up this end as well. Like that, because that might make things a little bit quicker. So yeah, let's bring it down to uh, there. Oh, it went round the corner a bit, but okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. Right. Can we have some resources then, please? This would be excellent if we get some resources. Right. That car has now gone round the corner. So now we can remove this accessories bit, which is gone. Destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Just get our money back on all this stuff. <laughs> this is probably the worst ever time anyone's ever played this. This is the most inept way anyone could ever do this. Right. And then we want to demolish pretty much most of these. So destroy, 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 destroy. Oh, look at the money almost rolling in. Okay. And then accessories. So fit lights. Okay. So we'll have that there and then fit a horn. <laughs> really? And then fit some seats. Yep. Yeah. And then fit a windscreen, which is fine. And then aircon. So this is our new shiny bit that we need. And now I have no money. Ah. <laughs> I hadn't noticed the cost of this. Let's hope that they can sell some stuff. Oh. Oh, what? Literally, you go into minus money and it just it just kills it all. A crisis loan. A crisis loan. I might need a crisis loan. That would be great. Um, I mean, it's fine. I've got four cars in storage. That'll give me loads of money. It's fine. Um, let's take it. Let's take a crisis loan, shall we? For seven days. Okay, right. Accept the loan. Oh my goodness me! How much of a loan do you want to give me? A million monies? Good lord. Um, right. So I've got the aircon. Right. Now fit the dashboard, which might as well go just there, and then get the conveyor to come along here like that. And then it can come along to say there and then all the way down to there. And then it can go back out and then they can all get sold. And in the meantime, we've got a gap down here to fit the electronics and stuff. OK, OK, right. And now the resource uh, conveyors need to connect to these things. So let's just have it going like that and then also going to like that. So I want to be connected to the middle as well. So, yeah, like that, please. There we go. That'll do. Um, and then that's not going to have any resources either. And I'm going to bring that over. Bring that down like that. Just to connect that up as well. Okay. Right. Speed time on. Does this help at all, anybody? And let's put time back to one for now. So powertrain. Can we upgrade this? We can buy extra robots. Can we just buy extra robots for everything? Buy all the extra robots. Buy all the things. Upgrade all slots for 165 grand. We've got an emergency loan. Yeah, to heck with it. Just upgrade everything we can with shiny robots. Radiators. Uh, oh, and buy it for that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all, all the things. Um, exhausts. We've got nothing to do with exhaust. Wheel assemblies. Nothing to do with wheel assemblies. Um, upgrades on there. No. Right, here we go. Lights. We haven't got any fancy lights, have we? I'd like some fancy lights. We could get that done, couldn't we? Robots. It's all, just, it's all just robots. Okay. I think they're all done. Now, how do we add air... Ah, right. Yes. Aircon on the cars, please. Absolutely. Put aircons on our sedans. That would be lovely. Yep, that's good. We'll have that, please. Um, Yeah, the chassis assembler worries me a bit because it's so crammed in this corner. It might have to sort of start down here and work its way up that way if we ever get any of that stuff done. Okay, fine. So we've burnt through 400 grand of our money that we had from the emergency loan. I don't imagine that's going to be doing very much for our bank balance, is it? <laughs> but okay, never mind. Um, right, let's get um, let's get administration done and body design done. And then hopefully 
We will have sold some cars and then we'll be able to uh, upgrade these things. Hello, Chief Executive Officer. Oh, no. Take action. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Sales power four. And get a loan from the bank. That's got defects. Oh, it's all going a little bit wrong. It's all going all sorts of wrong. What we could do is... Hang on, hang on. Right. Pause there for a second. Um, we could just get rid of all these bits, couldn't we? We don't need this bit here anymore. Sell these. Yep, sell, sell, sell. And then, with the conveyor, just connect that to there. Connect that along there, please. Um, what's that? Is that... Oh, no! Right, hang on. No, 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 no. Right, no. I'm being an idiot. Like that, look. Rather than having to go all the way down there and round a pointless bit, just go there. Just go straight around the corner. Speed it up a tiny little bit. Um... Yeah, so it's still the paint thing, which is being a bit of a hold-up, but it's not as bad as it once was. It is still getting on with it. Look, it's still flying through, which is good. Look, there's two down here. There's two down here already, and they're working their way through. So I think we should be all right. I think these cars can come in. Yeah, they've not got the air con and stuff. Hang on, discounts. Um, car lacks universal features. Yes, you can have 50, you can have 20% off that. Have 20% off, everybody. That's got defects. Someone will buy that fairly soon, I would have thought. Uh, okay, right. I'm just going to wait until body design is done or until something horrendous happens and we actually have no money left at all. Which, you know what? At the rate it's going is quite likely. We have nearly completed body design. So as soon as it's finished, I'm just going to pause. I oh, know, pause it for you. That's nice. Right, come out of that for now. Pause. Right. That is in. Now, the first thing we need to do is pick some more research. I've been watching our factory as it does its stuff. And there are a few areas that it could also be improved. I mean, okay, there's a lot of areas it could be improved. I suppose it could be improved by replacing the person who's running it with someone who knows what they're doing. But uh, because that isn't likely to happen, I think I'm going to be around for a little while. What we could do is we need to make some efficiencies to how it runs. And I know we're not making exciting new vehicles. We're not making dramatic new things. You know, we're not putting fancy cars out. We're not adding extremely good technology and stuff. I just want to get the thing running a little bit better, which surely must help in the long run. Because what keeps happening, particularly over here on this fit windows bit, it keeps saying, oh, we've run out of stock again. And then the cars are waiting. And yeah, OK, this isn't so bad. It's, you know, it's, this, it's now this bit that's seemingly holding things up at the minute. But um, I just wanted to sort of make things a little bit more efficient. So in here... There must be, there was a bit for, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we just go into here? Can we just go into here? Go into upgrades. Predictive stock control. Do that. Okay, where is that? Ah, it's under the efficiency thing, which we already have. Now, that's 2,400 of your things, of your research points, which is probably a lot. But now we can get more research points because we've got the fancy new lab thing available, the design studio or whatever it is. So let's go for that. Research that now. So it reorders resources at the start, not at the end of the production cycle. So resources, you don't have to wait for things to arrive. They're already going to be there. So that will remove a little bit of lag, which is nice. So we'll have that and we'll apply that to everything when we can. And then look, there's all these other things as well. Faster overhead conveyors, 750. Yeah, I'm all for that. Add that to the queue. Absolutely. I'll take a bit of that. So, you know, as well as making all our stuff better, our cars, we've got to keep our factory running nice and efficiently as well. And I think that'll be a good thing. Right. This is the big thing then. Let's get some of these in. New facilities. We can put in a design studio. Oh my goodness, they're huge. Okay, right. <laughs> so they take up the slots of three of those. Right. Okay. I hadn't kind of anticipated they would be gargantuan things. Okay, right. Hang on. How good are they? How good are they? So three research offices would generate... Oh my goodness. 0 0.83 multiplied by three. It's 2.4 or something. 2.5 possibly? 2.5 maybe. So I think if we get rid of three of those, get rid of three of the research offices, so sell those three, and then put two of these in, and then fill the rest up as with as many research offices as we can. Then we can fit another one across the top. That will maximise out what we can do. Right, so let's get rid of you. We'll get some money back as well, which is nice. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Lovely. Does it tell us how many things we're researching, like how many points we get? Does it tell us how many points we get per... Points per minute, nothing. That's a bit annoying. Right, we get 3.3 at the minute, right now. Okay, design studio number one, go in. 
Design studio number two. Prohibitively expensive, but let's throw that in. Okay, oh, it's flashing green. Why is it flashing green? Right, we're on four. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Why is it still on 3.3? Very confused. I'm very confused as to why we've got still got 3.3 research points going on. I'm a little bit confused. Right, hang on. Let me look into it. And this is now... Oh. Oh. Okay, right. I might have wasted just a, a big chunk of money. It's all good. It's all fine. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, there's two design studios in. But they only designed the car bodies and stuff. And the, the white leather seats and stuff. Oh, we could get that though now. So they can research two things at any one time. We don't need two design studios then. Right, get rid of you. Okay, that was a waste of money, but it's fine. You live and learn. Right, research offices. Let's just have as many research offices as we can get in then. Okay, so that's not going to be quite what I wanted, but never mind. Right, one of them across the top. We've spent quite a lot of money on research. However, we've now got one design studio doing some stuff, and that's gone up to 6.67. It's probably fine. <laughs> so let's get white leather seats, shall we? Why don't we just get white leather seats? We can do that. We can put them in the sedans, which is what we've got. 3,000 points. It'll take a long while to get there. But yeah, research that now in this queue. That does explain why this bit was always empty. When you went to this bit, it said current research, nothing. And I just thought it was a bug. You had to click on here to find out your current research. But there's two types of research. There's two types. There's design studio research and research labs research. Okay. Right. That would have been quite nice to know earlier on. Now, what do you do with this then? So you buy that, do you? So it costs 2340 but you could put loads of design studios in there. Is that what I'm getting from that? Or you could buy that, 6600 per hour. That's 2300 an hour. That's going to be a lot, 18 grand an hour. And that's that. But if you bought this, you could, in theory, fit another one to six research labs in there and get more research done. Hmm. Okay, fine. Well, that's something for us to ponder, isn't it? That is a thing for us to ponder. But I think what we'll do is... Oh, my goodness, we've got eight cars in storage. Hang on. <laughs> let's let's bring the price down a tad. 25,500. Someone please buy our cars. It's doing this weird thing again where all of a sudden they're not appealing. There's one with a defect. That's fine. Oh, come on. Come on. It's bargain. It's a bargain price. Ten cars in there. If we sold all of those, we'd have a lot more money. Come on, salespeople. Do it properly, please. Don't let that one go. Eleven. We're just piling them up. Yeah, this 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 could be troublesome. Yeah, and again, insufficient resources, which is hopefully what this thing will help with with our um predictive stock control. Hopefully that will be useful. Now what we could do is with our design studio, we could just make a whole new type of car. We could just move away from sedans and go for like a sports car or something, but I feel like a sports car would probably need better things in it they're going to expect you know shinier better things than what we're able to provide right now i think so maybe we'll hold back on that for now but at least we can put fancy pants white leather seats in them if they want them now i don't know how you install them as an optional thing or not maybe we'll find that out later i don't know ah right okay yeah good they're selling the cars again phew that's lovely so I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up for now. We're only at the at the start of day three so we've done two full days how are we looking on our goals 203. 203 cars we've sold. And we've sold 131 mid-range cars, which is pretty good. Uh, this, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not. I <laughs> really don't know. But you know what? We shall give it a jolly good go. We shall try our best. Because now, I think, yeah, we, we've got as much research as we can do currently. I'm tempted next time out to just get that, fill that with research labs. And just go, right, okay, everybody, research. Brum, and get loads of research done. Because that's now what's holding us up. The research is causing us some issues. We need more research done quickly. Uh, also, that thing is also holding us up. Can we upgrade that in any way, shape, or form? Um, yeah, extra robots and liquid-cooled welding would also fit uh, speed this fit body frame thing up a little bit as well. Because, yeah, that is causing a bit of a hold-up. So maybe we'll do that as well with our extra shiny research stuff. But, yeah, let's finish for now. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're not getting too frustrated with my complete and absolute mismanagement of this whole sort of debacle. But, you know, if you are enjoying it, please do leave a like. And, as always, please do subscribe to see how we get on in Production Line. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered. And I will see you next time.
You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets. 